for the desire to be better. So you're not just watching, you're actively participating in your own journey, okay? And because that is what makes you an extraordinary kind of person, kind of human being. Okay, we're gonna get back into the workout now. But Ever wondered what it's truly like to squat during a fast, especially when you're strength training? Fight till it all goes bad. Today we're going to embark on a journey where every rep carries weight, especially during those final days of fasting. I've been on a fast for about six days. Today is my seventh day, so I figured I'll talk to you guys about my experience. Join me as we unravel the hidden treasures of strength training, resilience, recovery, nutrition. Let's plunge into these depths and also these squat depths. <laughs> Today, the iron is speaking volumes when it comes to my squat journey. It's getting a lot tougher, even though we're in like our second week where we're trying to reach personal records and also defying even our own expectations. Quickly, we're gonna talk about why I decided to do a fast in the first place. And it's because I felt the need to reset. A moment to take a step back, reflect, realign my mind and body and spirit, right? Fasting provides me with the opportunity to cleanse myself from distractions, recenter my focus and cultivate a deeper sense of connection with me and Jesus, okay? To do this during this time where I'm going through a squat cycle, I felt like it was an opportunity for me to really like show myself how dedicated I am to the process, but also not make an excuse as to why I can't fast, why? Because I'm going through a squat cycle. So it's kind of like proving that I can, if that makes sense. So as I step into the gym, the familiar scent of iron and determination will fill the air. It's just another day, but it's an opportunity for me to push my limits. And it's another week of squatting toward heavy. So today is a little bit different. Today I'm challenging myself in more ways than one. So we're fasting from dawn until dusk. And so during this time, you know, I'm fueled by the word and water and I'm determined to beat my own personal record at the same time. So I'm more determined to surpass 225. So today I'll be lifting six sets of six of 60% of my last personal record. It may be a struggle, especially during this fasting period, but I know that with the right preparation, I can conquer any challenge, right? Determination and commitment are truly being tested today, but it's these moments that define us, that push us beyond our limits into greatness. I'm also reminded while I'm going through my sets, especially with Monday, because it's usually heavier lifts than the rest of the week. And then also even Tuesday, because I'm spending more time on my form and how I'm performing the squat because it's lighter weight. I want to remind myself during this journey that it's not just about workouts. It's about movement. It's about the engagement of your muscles and the commitment to the process. With each set, with each rep, I'm pushing myself further. And also I'm gonna be challenging my body and mind to reach new heights. I've never done a fast before, I'll be honest. So this is truly testing my limits. I felt like I was called to do it at this point. And it's the variety, the challenge that keeps me coming back for more. So we'll see how this last day go of my fast. I felt like I don't wanna interrupt it by fasting and also vlogging throughout the whole thing. So I figured I'll talk more about it on the last day. So of course we're in the gym another day. We're squatting five days a week. So today's no different. Fasting from dawn and also till dusk. I'm diving into the grind with 70% of my personal record. But guess what? But guess what? I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it today. It was six sets of five. Um, you know, sometimes you have roadblocks. Today was one of those days. So the weight felt heavier than usual. And just a reminder to the process, it's not always linear. So 
I'm going to do six sets of five reps. Um, it seems daunting, especially with front squats. So reality hit for me. It was time to make an adjustment. So I scaled it back, dropping the weight to 115 and focused on my form and also consistency. I wanted to make sure I was able to hit six sets of five. So the next week I can maybe do six sets of six. So now I'm switching up this. So instead of this being a 10 week program, this is always longer for me because I have setbacks. I feel like I need to have in between weight, something like that, you know, because um, I didn't check my PR. I just went off of the last PR I had. I should have checked, but I didn't. So it's not about forcing what's not working. It's about adapting and also evolving. Also, hydration is key, especially during fasting periods. Finding that balance between protein intake and fasting can be tough, but between sets, I make sure to fuel up on water, stay hydrated. Also, I like to have a little snack before I even get into the gym at 4.30 in the morning. But remember, the progress isn't always straightforward. It's about the journey. It's about the setbacks and the small victories along the way. Um, it's about maybe it didn't work this time, but maybe let me go back and try again tomorrow. That's what we have to do. Maybe you only want what you can have. So we get into Thursday and Friday's workout where Thursday I'm doing two sets of three of back squats, which I just love doing back squats. And then Friday I'm doing two sets of three in front squats. It's about 60% of my personal record. But if you notice like Thursday and Friday, it's always two sets of three. And then Tuesday as well, it's always two sets. You know, we're going to try and keep up with our food intake as the sweat pours down our faces when we're going through these squat cycles. I know that every drop is a reminder of my efforts and also dedication. So that's what I guess helps me succeed in drinking enough water every day, but also how I decide to um, fuel myself with f good foods and proteins, all the things that I would need. So as I reflect on like this week's session, I'm reminded of my power of perseverance. I've noticed doing this routine. It also was like a snowstorm. And I remember going um, to the gym during a snowstorm and I was dedicated, especially during the squat cycle in the past. And I didn't have a car that like started on its own, an automatic starter. And I didn't have all the the bells and whistles but now I've recently gotten a new car and I'm so grateful to be able to just hop in my car and go to the gym um, when it snows and stuff and it's not so crazy but it's so wild to me how I was able to persevere during that time when I didn't have these upgraded technologies right to get to the gym I never had an excuse why I couldn't get there a snowstorm could not stop me right so it's not about like your mental fortitude it's about like courage strength of mind also your also your resilience and facing adversity or like hardships right even when like the odds are stacked against you like that snow was stacked against me during the squad cycle last year so let me wrap this up because i can go on for days girl I wrap the, so as I wrap up this session, I'm filled with gratitude for the experience and the lessons learned along the way. We're only in week two. This is about to turn into like a 14 week squat cycle. I already know that. But a reminder, your warriors, no challenge is too great when you're fueled by passion and also determination. But you have to start off with the desire to want to do it first. So keep pushing, keep striving and never settle for anything less than your best. Okay. I hope you like this video. Bye. As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective. And my perspective may differ from yours. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been down with me. All my fans, all my beautiful fans.